Hello everybody and welcome to my beginning of my collective Black Friday haul. Um, so I'm very, very excited. Actually only one of these things is from Black Friday, but I, I don't know, I just want to like put it all together. And there's only like two sticker, like planner shops. So it's it's a little random, but I just have some stuff that I want to share. So I'm going to do like the random-ish stuff first. So my mom was like super sweet. And this is from Natural Life. Um, and this was a vinyl sticker. And it says, Brave Girl, you can do hard things. And then there's also this air freshener here, which I haven't smelled this. What is this? Oh, strawberry. That'll be good. Um, this is for your car. And my mom just wrote me like a really sweet note. Um, and left this on my desk and it was just really really great because I've been struggling a little bit lately so I have that and then this is like even more random <laughs> I got a tattoo and this is um, a place in Austin they have two locations they have one on uh, Burnett Road which if you don't live in Austin this is gonna be nothing to it I'm pretty sure it's Burnett Road and then on 6th Street. And I've actually gotten tattooed um, from both locations. They do a Friday the 13th deal. And uh, so I've gotten tattoos, like all of my Friday the 13th ones are from their shop. And then they started doing this thing for the month of December on Fridays. They're doing like sheets uh, where they're like flash sheets for a cheaper price. And I saw a design I really liked and I ended up getting that. And the guy who did my tattoo, um, his name is Lalo. He has a giant sloth tattoo on his stomach and um, I was talking to him about the placement of my tattoo and I showed him my sloth tattoo and he was like, no way. And so we just kind of like, you know, we got along very well and he gave me these stickers whenever I left and I was like, oh my god, I have to, I have to share these. So <laughs> this one is their like logo with the mask on and then we just have the All Saints. Like I said, super random, but I just really wanted to share it. Um, next, let's do Mini Riot Co. I'm so, so excited. So this is from Shannon, and Shannon commented on one of my, I think it was my sticker collection video. I mentioned, like, needing a goth Christmas kit because it's literally just me, and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm making one, and I was like, what? So... <laughs> I am so excited about this, and Tom is equally, if not more, excited about this. I showed him this when we were on FaceTime, and he was like, that is amazing. And I was like, I know, right? And he was like, that's so cool. And I'm like, I know, and it's going to look good with silver foil, right? And he was like, you know it already. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a lot to show here. I'm going to go through this kit first, though. This is on, like, a premium matte paper, and this is called Creepy Christmas super super cute so um we've got nine full boxes here and they have these little dividers here so we've got a nice little ornament um all of your creepy stuff you know we have a nice quote box here snow globes coffins skulls little christmas tree i have some really cute earrings that i'm going to share with you guys in this haul um that i ordered that are like ugh, goth christmas earrings and they're just perfect um, I'm so excited. So these are the full boxes and then this next page right here This is The boxes page. Sorry. It is currently 11 o'clock at night Today was supposed to be my day off that I'm filming this but I picked up a shift at Amazon. So I'm, I'm quite tired But uh, some of these have little clip art pieces in them. Some of them don't. I love this box. It's so cute I'm gonna be using this the week before Christmas um, and then we have some different like dividers and stuff. Y'all know how I feel about these. I love them. These different shapes down here. A little weekend banner. And then we have some icons here. Ooh, so many patterns. I love it. Ah, oh, this is going to be so cute. Okay. I'm like thinking, I'm like, what headers am I going to use with this? So we have some skull headers. We have some ornament headers and some bow headers some bow checklists, some more shapes, some dividers, some different shapes. I love all the different shapes that um, she has in her kits because I feel like a lot of bougie is going to be showing. And oh, I'm thinking, I'm really thinking here. 
I'm like, I have this foil bundle from Chasing Chels that is like this lime green. I'm like, well, I feel like this could be really cute with that. I'm gonna have to talk to Tom about it. I'm going to have to. Um, and then we have, these are some different washi strips. And then we have the habit trackers. And I really like her font choice in this too. I feel like it really matches. Um, I feel like it really matches the vibe, sorry. Um, and then we have another quote box here that says Bah Humbug. We have a nice weekly ombre, or it's not ombre, but like a weekly tracker. Your date covers, and then your bottom washi, and these zippers, what the heck? I love that. That is so cute. I'm gonna have to like play around with this, but I, it's just so freaking cute. And then this last page here has our deco, which I will probably end up saving the deco I don't use. And then some different shapes, some more checklists, these, which are my favorite, some flags. This is so cute. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm really trying not to yawn. And then some squared boxes. So that is the kit. So we don't have glitter headers here. We do have the headers that are included in the kit. Um, I don't think that she offered glitter headers from what I can remember, um, but I'm really excited to play with this. I think it's gonna be really, really good. And then we have this stack here with like some stuff that I ordered, some stuff that she sent me. I'm so excited. And also I want to throw this in there now that um, she did give us a code. So Shannon uh, said that we can use Emily 15 for 15% off. And I am just so excited. Um, she did offer to send this to me um, whenever I mentioned the that I wanted a goth Christmas kit. Um, so this is just the sweetest package ever and she went like above and beyond. I picked out some stuff and then she, like I said, sent me extra stuff and I'm just like so happy with it all. So I'm really excited to share all this with you guys. I vaguely flipped through this, but not too much. Um, so this is the like Black Friday Cyber Monday freebie, which is super cute. I feel like this with like a foiled icon on the corner and then like a script over here is going to be super cute. And this with like a foiled script on top of it. So cute. So I did organize this a little bit. So this is the $50 freebie. She does offer foil in her shop and this is, this is some good foiling. I don't see any misfits at all. That's amazing. So uh, we have some quote boxes here in silver. Tom's gonna love that. <laughs> so we have Warm Winter Wishes, Let It Snow. This box is beautiful. But first, Hot Cocoa and Hello Cold Days. Then we have these Believe Boxes in Hollow. So beautiful. And again, like this foiling is literally perfect. So we have some snowflakes. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm just thinking about those antlers, how it matches the kit. Oh believe sleigh rides and hot cocoa and then this is beautiful this is like a purpley foil and these are some headphones so this would be good for listening to music or podcasts audiobooks or doing like a voiceover so for me I'll probably end up using these for music or voiceover we have the happy mail and silver foil these are so pretty and they're cut very well and then we have the one inch ornaments. Again, these are so beautiful. I feel like this on top of a full box would be cute. Um, or let me think. I feel like whenever I get my basics spiral planner, I'm not going to be doing any foil underlays in that. It's going to be very limited foil, but I feel like this on top of the page would be so cute. And then we have these half snowflakes. These are beautiful absolutely beautiful and then we have the reindeer dividers these are, these are so cute that is so cute oh my god and those are in silver then we have her rose gold holly berry dividers i like that she has the name of everything up there these are really really pretty <coughs> oh my gosh i'm like drooling over here and i just like choked on that so disgusting. Um, we have the candy cane flourish, which this would have been perfect for my spread I just did. I should have hauled this before then. Um, and then we have the holiday trim dividers. This would be really, really pretty on top of a full box. 
or you can use it as a divider but I feel like because it's like a clear um, it's on clear paper and it's foiled I feel like it'd be a really cute overlay we have the mitten dividers again that's the thing with like the clear foiled dividers is that you can because they're clear you can use them on anything so I feel like you could use a lot of them as full box overlays and this is another one that I feel like at the top of a box like with this one I'm I'm not I want to find I wish I would have like looked into like creepy overlays but like something like that you know oh these are so cute and these are all of the sheets on her regular paper so we have these floral half mandalas so pretty these remind me of like tattoos kind of like uh nikki from nicole Lexi designs tattoos super pretty we have the witch life oh, love this all this deco the small crow flame frames this is so cute i love that we have the tree frames these are the one and a half inch ones and these are on the white paper Next, we have the Holly Jolly bow frames. Make sure we're still in there. Yeah. These are really, really cute, too. This would be cute if you didn't want to use, like, a full box in your top corner and you wanted to just, like, put this in the center of that box. I feel like it would be really cute. We have these ornament dividers. Super cute. Vintage hanging signs. I didn't even... These must have been like sticking to the other sheets. I didn't even see these. These are really, really pretty. What kind of paper is this? Oh, it's like a clear paper. Interesting. It looks like it's like, um, what is the word? Can you guys hear that? Um, transparent? I know that clear and transparent are pretty much the same, but you guys know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, but that's, those are really cute. These are cute, too. I really want to find a way to use this because this is beautiful. Like, oh, so cute. This would be a cute thing to do, like, an anniversary or something and put, like, nine months or something like that. I don't know. Super cute. These, oof, y'all. I am definitely going to be pulling these in. Like, I'm going to be pulling in all the creepy stuff as I can with that kit. And I'm definitely pulling these in. These are so cute. The web mandalas. Ooh, the spooky mugs. The spooky mugs. These are so cute. Oh. And I also love that you get them the handles on different sides. Very helpful whenever you like stagger your icons. The mistletoe kisses. I wish I could mistletoe kiss Tom right now. Sorry, I am I'm delusional and tired and I miss my boyfriend. Um, the dream water. These are so cute. I thought I thought that these would be really cute for working skincare, me time, any sort of beverage. Really, like, so cute. We have the cloud life and this, like, peachy color. And then these ones are a little bit bigger. And then a planning session. So lots and lots of goodies from Shannon over at Mini Riot Co. And I am so excited about this kit. Like, y'all, I am I am over the moon. And I'm just, I'm so ready to use it. Like, I really want to, like, pre-plan that week, like, as soon as possible. Um, so that is everything from Mini Riot Co. And then the last thing I have here is my Black Friday order. This is the, my first order that came in um, that is planner related. I already got like my Tarte order and then my Victoria's Secret order in. Um, but I'm not going to show that to you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and open this. This is um, going to be... These are, sorry, going to be the inserts that I use for my planner next year. And I actually already cleared out my cloud that I'm going to be starting off with next year, which is going to be the blue one, this one right here. Um, I moved my inserts into, if you guys watched my last haul, the Michaels planner. Um, so I did decide to get these on Black Friday and I saved my invoice so I could talk to you guys about pricing. Um, so the way that I'm going to show this to you guys is actually, I'm going to put it in the planner because I feel like that's going to be the easiest way to do that. So it did come packaged very nicely. So everything got here safe. Let's 
go ahead and open up this cutie. And I do need to make, um, for like my front and back, I like to have a piece of cardstock so it doesn't get, oof, like the pages don't get messed up or anything. I'm already seeing some stuff. We're gonna go like super into detail about these because I feel like doing that even though I'm like really tired and I should be going to bed. Um, so these are from Caress Press and they were a collab with Letters to Apollo for the lettering. And I got the Dated Plus Monthly a Fide Wide Planner Inserts. I also ordered the foil tab divider covers um, in Dreamy Silver. So this is everything here. Oh, Noelle just like woke up. Cute. Okay, so this is everything here. So you do get this vellum right here with the gold, which I'm probably not going to keep this in here because I'm doing silver. Um, and then we go into our year at a glance. Um, so we have this. I really want to try and find a way to like decorate this, get some like transparent stickers or something there. And then, okay, you guys can see it. I know my tripod's a little bit in the way. Um, you get these 12 boxes here. You can do whatever you want with those. You can do like yearly goals. You can, you know, plan out your kits in them. You can do whatever you want to. Okay. So, uh, this is very pixelated. Um, <laughs> can you guys see like how pixelated this is? I, I don't know if you can. Um, but this is, this is very, very pixelated. Um, like I don't have my glasses on and I can see that. So that is quite annoying, honestly. Um, let's actually talk about price first. So these inserts were $35, but she had a sale going on. So I ended up getting the inserts and the dividers for $30 together, and then shipping was almost $9. So that's that. Just want to talk about that. But yeah, this is like really, really pixelated. Um, so we have January there. And then we have our monthly view here. Um, you have the dividers on there. There is like, there's a lot of black dots and stuff on the paper. And they're like pretty noticeable. I mean, like, obviously, like I've done misfitting before. So I can, you know, see things like pretty quickly, but like this is like from far away without glasses on, I can see. Um, this still looks really pixelated. It's not as bad as before, but yeah, like the 2021 looks fine, but the January looks really pixelated. Um, so then we have our weekly view. So this does start on the 28th uh, because the like New Year's starts on a Friday. So this is like the standard vertical size and these inserts are pretty similar to what I use now from Aura Stell. I just wanted to try out some different ones and yeah, these are dated, so that'll be really nice. I will know at the beginning of my plan with me is what week I'm planning for. But yeah, there's like kind of dots everywhere. We have all this and I also really wanted to have a monthly again. Um, we have the notes page here. Yeah, this is still really pixelated. Um, this is just kind of a letdown. But I guess it doesn't matter, question mark? I don't know. I am not sure. So, but I, I do like how neutral this is. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, it, it just bothers me <laughs> that's pixelated. And I'm sorry, I don't like to complain and stuff, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, see there's like that big can you guys see that I don't know. you can kind of see it I don't know I mean I film with my phone so there's like some dirt there I mean I am gonna cover up some of this but yeah I'm just gonna flip through so you guys can see the lettering for everything um, but yeah if you wanted something that's like super neutral I mean even the tabs are really neutral May has like a little chunk and it's pixelated <laughs> And let's see, my, oh, dang, that sucks. So um, my birthday is actually May 23rd and then Tom's is May 24th. And both of ours are like gonna be small. 
in my planner. It's fine. Um, we're not going to celebrate until it gets home anyways. But see, like, all the dots, like, it, it looks like it's something that I could, like, wipe off, but it doesn't wipe off. But such is life. This is just really pixelated. That's the only thing, like, that I see with these, like, is the pixelation being a problem. Because the dots, I will, you know, end up covering up, and they're not the worst thing in the world. I mean, this one's pretty prominent, but it's just the pixelation. July doesn't look too pixelated there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much the planner. I mean, the lettering is, is beautiful. I just feel like there might have been an issue, like, transferring the file, like, and then, like, enlarging it and that making it look pixelated. I'm not really sure, but if you guys got these, let me know if you noticed that off the bat or if I'm just, like, you know, super attentive like that. I don't know. Um, and then, like I said, I did get the, uh, divider covers, so I am gonna put these on there. I'm, I mean, I always am doing some sort of, like, galaxy spread, so I thought these colors would match. Um, and I got them in the silver, so I'm gonna end up putting those on. I'm definitely gonna be doing a setup in this. I still have to show you guys, like, my setup for um like the purple cloud that I have and I really want to film that I just haven't done it yet um but I will be setting this up and then you guys will eventually get a video for that so I have those and then there's also this freebie which is really really cute um we have a full box overlay here um and then we have the different icons and some scripts and um yeah that's uh that's pretty much it that is all for this portion of the haul I will see y'all in the next one with more goodies. Hey everybody, so we're back for another portion of this haul. I have three orders in here, and we've got a little bit of everything. We've got some kits, some foil, and then these are some like decorative stickers too, so I think we got a good variety here. I just, again, ran up the stairs. I don't know if I did that in the last haul, but I feel like I'm always like out of breath because I just run up the stairs with Noelle. Um, so yeah, I have, I think these are all from like around Black Friday time. These are definitely Black Friday orders. And then this, I think Alex opened up her shop after Black Friday and they already got here. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with Alex's. This was her first, like her, like opening for her stickers. Like what is that called? Like her grand opening. And, of course, I had to get some stickers from her. So, her shop is Alexandra & Co. And she has these stickers. They're not vinyl, but I know that she said her next, like, bigger release is going to be on, like, the vinyl weatherproof kind of stickers. Um, these are on, like, a premium matte. And I'm super excited about these. I love, like, the color scheme. I feel like I'm going to use these, I think... I think, uh, like decorating one of my monthly pages, maybe, but I also just like, I don't know. I, I love these. I think they're really cute. And so let's see. I'm so out of breath. <clears throat> so we have let's be adventurers, which I love this. I definitely want to do a lot of adventuring with my boyfriend. So cute. We have these little floral ones. If I could pick them up. Super pretty. And this paper is like Super nice. And this was a freebie. Oh, she wrote it on the back. That's so sweet. So this one was a freebie. I think this one was also a freebie. Yeah. And this is from, is it Legally Blonde? I think so. I'm not sure. I saw someone else post about it. I'm not good with like remembering where like quotes and stuff are from. And then we have this cactus one, which just reminds me of Texas and New Mexico kind of too. Um, I do live in Texas. I lived in New Mexico for like a year before I moved here though, so I have that one, and then But First Coffee, like, had to. She also has a budgeting one, which I might get because I have some budget inserts in a planner that is going to be coming eventually, so that's super exciting. Next, to continue with just generosity and beautifulness, we have Plana Hannah. So, Hannah is so sweet, like, <laughs> the sweetest, and... I opened this, like, like I opened this package whenever I was on FaceTime with Tom, 
And I was like squealing and he was like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> I was like, Hannah spoiled me. Like, it's so crazy. So she sent me these two like foil bundles, which I'm like super excited about. And then I also have my order and she included other stuff in here too. And I'm just, Hannah's such a sweetheart. I love her so much. And she's doing Insta Vlogmas. I don't know when I'm uploading this. I feel like <clears throat> it just depends on how long Black Friday orders take and stuff. So we shall see. But I'm so excited. Okay. So we have this journaling card here, which is super cute. And she wrote my name and she signed her name. Um, so this is just talking about her Instagram. So make sure you guys follow her on there. She does post her spreads as well as new releases. And that's really cute. So. Whew. I, maybe, maybe like my breath has been taken away by like the beauty of these stickers that I'm showing you guys. So <clears throat> we have this freebie right here, which is in like a shattered hollow kind of deal. It's really pretty. Like, I feel like I can see the layers like an ogre. <laughs> Sorry, I love Shrek. You guys are going to see that I love Shrek because I have a Shrek kit in this haul. Whenever that gets here, it just shipped. So I'm super excited. Um, this has a quote box on here that says, deck the halls and not your family. Follow la la. That's so cute. Then we have family time, relax, clean the effing house, a present, and then a like plate, fork, and knife, little meal icon action. So I ordered these um, foil underlays and then she included everything else. So I guess I should just go through like what I got and then um, I'll show you guys what she sent me. So this one I remember is called I Love You Baby or I-L-Y-B-B, um, which I love so much. And I really wanted to get these. So I ended up getting them in all the foils because she was doing a sale for Black Friday. And then also like the sale stacked on top of if you got all four colors of something. And I know that I can use the hearts in all four colors of the foil. So I went ahead and picked up two sheets of each of them. Um, so right here we have her gold. These are super pretty. And I feel like the pattern is like going to be able to be shown through really easily. So I have the gold. The silver. Super pretty. The hollow, which I love. Although if Tom continues to pick out my kits, I don't know when I will use hollow again or rose gold. I feel like I'm just going to keep using silver and gold. I was showing him hollow and I was like, babe, like, I feel like you just need to see this and then you'll love it. And because I did like a peppermint kit and I feel like hollow would have looked great with it. And he was like, you can, you're the best judge. You know, if you want to do it, I'm like, no, I want you to choose it. But I want you to know that hollow is beautiful. And I showed him on FaceTime and I just feel like even though my lights were on and everything, like I think he needs to see it in person. He needs to see Hollow's true potential. I was talking with Chandler um, and she was, you know, like, I forget what she said exactly, but we were talking about how um, like she started off loving silver and now she's going towards Hollow and I'm kind of going the other way. So yeah, I have those. And then the rose gold. I don't have a lot of rose gold in my collection. So I'm really excited to have these. I mean, I, I use hearts, like, whenever. I always find a way to put love into my spread. So I know I have a winter kit from Nicole Alexia Designs that's rose gold. And maybe I'll convince Tom to um, choose that kit. We'll see. <laughs> and then these ones here are called Chris, I believe, after Hannah's boyfriend no fiance fiance I'm pretty sure his name is Chris I'm gonna feel awful if it's not but um these are like gamer ones so there's like a classic Game Boy and then a controller which is just like really really cute and Tom is definitely a gamer he plays on PC he brought his whole like PC and like stand and all of that on deployment for whenever he has free time which is really really cute um so I went ahead and got it in gold and silver I don't have a kit that I'm using with this yet, but those are his two favorite foils, so I don't know when I will use it. I mean, maybe like whenever, because I am going to learn how to play on Xbox. I've never played before, and that's what I'm going to learn on. 
So maybe like that week that we're learning, I don't really know because his birthday is the day after mine and unless I find a really, really cute gamer kit, I don't know. I don't know what I'm using for our birthday week. Like the fact that we have our birthdays in the same week is kind of wild. Then I have them in the silver. And then y'all, when Hannah like sneaked these, I died. Like these are out of this world, pun intended. I got them in hollow. I'm thinking like maybe like the X-Files kit would be really cute with this, but also just like anything. I thought they were super cute. So I have those. That's everything that I purchased. And then Hannah is a sweetheart and included like everything else. So this is like a stack that describes me. Okay. Obviously tacos are on top. So we have <laughs> the taco doodles, which are so cute. And I have used up my entire sheet of hollow tacos from Crafts by Towie. And I think almost all of my silver sheet. Um, so I'm lacking on the foil tacos is what I'm saying. So it's like Hannah's like living with me and like looked through my stash and was like, what does Emily need? It sounded like really weird. And I, I when I said that, I looked around knowing that she's not here, but maybe in spirit she is. Um, that makes it sound like she said she's not. I'm I'm sorry, I'm really weird. Um, to be honest, I did have a drink before filming this, and um, I mean, like, it, it didn't taste really strong, but maybe it's, you know, catching up to me. We have them in gold. <laughs> this is a mess. Um, rose gold, which her rose gold is so light and pretty. I don't sense any, like, brassiness or anything. It just looks, it looks really beautiful. Um, and then we have the silver tacos, which are so cute. And then... Mm, Mm. y'all y'all these are so sweet <laughs> y'all know like I like I said I hauled these when I was on the phone with Tom and I was like babe I have more more stickers to mark when I FaceTime you they're so cute so we have FaceTime Tom I'm so excited because I have even though um so I have some that I got from uh Kenzie from Kenzie's Creations and I was using, I'm using those like every other week. And then the other week I'm like writing it in so I don't blow through them. Because I do FaceTime him every day right now. And I know that I don't have to mark it every day, but I do. I like it. It's really cute. So I am like going through those pretty fast. <laughs> so I'm really excited to have these. Mm. We have the gold. These are so pretty. Oh. The rose gold. Oof. And then the silver. And then y'all, Hannah is so, like, she's such a real, a real, you know, a real person. <laughs> Obviously she's real, but like, she did run favors, which it, like, <laughs> is what my job is right now, is running favors and then working on Amazon whenever I can pick up a shift. And this just like shows that she like pays attention and cares. Like, she... <laughs> She didn't have to do any of those, but she did it, and she did it so well, and I'm just so happy. So we have Run Favors in Hollow and Silver, and if uh, this is the first video you're watching of me, um, Favor is a delivery service in Texas, I believe. It's only in Texas. Um, it's food delivery, groceries, like I did a Sephora order before. You can order Kendra Scott, like anything, um, and I basically place the order, pick it up, and bring it to the customer. So, yeah, that is what favor is. I feel like I get asked that all the time because um, it's not everywhere, but it's kind of like DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats. We have rose gold, and then we have gold, and then y'all. Feel your feelings. I love this. I feel like I preach this a lot, even though sometimes I'm a hypocrite and I try to avoid crying, even though I know that I need to. I love this. This is like... This is something that I feel like I would get tattooed on me. Um, also, Hannah is a tattoo queen as well, so more reasons to love her. But I just, I love this so much. Feel your feelings. Like, I like this as an alternative to In My Feelings. Um, I don't want to say that I was the first person to ever say In My Feelings, but I know that I wasn't, like, the inspiration of the first, like, script that I knew of uh, for In My Feelings. So I feel like this is a good, like alternative to that just feel your feelings you know you can put this in a habit tracker and mark every day like did you let yourself feel your feelings 
um, because it's very important to do that instead of bottling it away because then you will explode. So those are all of the scripts that and the little taco doodles that Hannah sent to me. And then we have these. So, okay, she names these after people in her life. And I feel terrible that I don't know the names of them. I know this is the SpaghettiOs pattern. I remember her saying that. And this was a Christmas one. This one wasn't Darlene, was it? No, I don't know. I feel so bad. Um, I don't think that either of these are available in her shop anymore because they were limited stock. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm sure that she's going to continue bringing different foil bundles and stuff to her shop. So just keep an eye out for that. I am so excited and so thankful that she sent these to me. Oh, these red. Oh, I love red foil. And I'm actually using green foil on the kit that I'm using right now. So... Maybe I'll pull in some of this stuff. Okay, so the way that she does her bundles, I believe, um, kind of differs foil to foil color, but she does pick a pattern for it and then just kind of, you know, rolls with it. So this is her, like, green foil. So we have these food icons. There's so much variety here, like healthy, um, guilty pleasure, drinks, food, like so much. Oh my gosh, there's bow tie pasta. That's so cute. And then we just have the regular, her mini icons. We have two sets of the date of the of the date numbers. And then we have the SpaghettiOs headers. I mean, like, how could you not? Her names for everything are so cute. Um, and then we have these dividers, which are really cute. And then this is bottom washi, so they are cut into the 15 millimeter strips, and you get two over here too, which is really nice. I just love the name of like spaghetti, spaghettios. It's really cute. Um, we have a ton of scripts here. So Hannah has so many options for scripts. She has, I believe, three different font choices, and so many things. Like any kind of script you need, she probably has. And there's such a good variety on here. Like I feel like everybody can find something on here that they would use. Um, like. I mean, I could go through each of and every one of them, but there's, you know, cleaning, there's food, work, and I appreciate that there's six works because some of us don't just work five days a week. Um, we have, like, planner stuff, we have a weekend banner, we have some sassy stuff, we've got Disney. There's just a lot of stuff on here, and I really appreciate the variety. And then we have our underlay boxes, and you do get two sheets of them so you can do a full week. So that is her green bundle. And then we have the red bundle, which I'm so excited for. My red foil collection is starting to grow and I'm very happy about that because like I said, I love using red foil. So we have the mini food doodles again, the icons. I might be able to use some of this and my candy cane spread because I think I'm like low key bringing in red. I feel like I always low-key bring in red, though, whenever I can. I love using it, so. This is kind of the same setup as the other foil bundle, except we have the different pattern. This was a Christmas pattern. I don't know that this is available. I'm going to say that it's probably not, but she does have a wide variety of other patterns available. We have the dividers. This bottom washi is so cute. We have... The scripts, which I'm so excited about this sheet. I will definitely, so I, I keep my foil colors like together for like the fun foils. And so anytime I use red, I pull out my whole little chunk and I'm excited to make that chunk a little more chunky. And then we have the underlay boxes. I was about to say day extenders. So that is everything from Hannah of Planet Hannah. Make sure you guys go check her out. She's wonderful. She's so sweet, so caring. And I'm just, I'm so thankful, honestly, like, I'm, I'm blown away. So, this is my first, not first ever, but first Black Friday order from Glam Planner. Um, I did pick up some kits when she was having her sale, and then I also got the glitch kits, and I got her Cyber Monday because she told me that it was really good. So, um, we have the Kisma and... A, I don't like using bad words, bad words, profanity, watch a profanity, um, just in case, you know, people are watching around their family, 
Um, but this is one of her characters. It is like this, how do I describe this? Like gray, grumpy, um, character that is neutral. So it matches pretty much everything. And then it's like sidekick is a donkey. So that's where Kisma and you know, that comes from. So, um, I'm surprised that I haven't picked up any of these characters yet. I might have to do that at some point because I feel like I relate to it a lot. Um, but there's just a bunch of different things like doing different things and it just looks grumpy all the time. Um, this one is so funny. I was like, I FaceTimed Tom yesterday when I had like just woken up and like I took a nap, an unexpected nap, and I feel like I was kind of grumpy. So, um, I might use one of these for that, but it's super duper cute. And I really, really like that. So that was the Black Friday freebie. And then I have three kits here. Um, I don't, I don't know when I'm using any of these kits, honestly. Not really sure. Um, but we will find out. Because this one I feel like would be really, really cute as a New Year's kit. But I think I might already have a New Year's kit. Not really sure. Um, but that's quite the possibility. But if I don't end up having one, then I will probably use this one. And then this Christmas kit here, which you guys will see. I just, I loved this last year and I didn't pick it up. So I got it. And I am, like, so excited for this. Probably gonna use this next year. Unless Tom picks this kit for this year. I'm, I'm not sure what he's gonna pick for Christmas week this year. Um, and then I have a Valentine's Day kit, which I'm most likely gonna use this year. But, anyways... Um, so I did get the Lux format. I really want to try, um, one of her, like, mini or bitty kits. Um, also with Nicole Lexi Designs, I need to do that too, because I did get a, I think I already mentioned it earlier, but I got a coiled B6 planer. Um, so I think I'm going to try using some smaller kits in there. So we're going to see. Um, but this came with quite a few extras. We have this double box here of the clock, which is beautiful. Mm. Y'all, her princess kits are beautiful. The, um, what was it called? Thingamabob kit, the Ariel inspired one. I almost got a second one of that kit. This is just beautiful. This, this is just beautiful. I feel like you guys need to see, like, look. Do we see that? This is stunning. I feel silver for this. These are the glitter headers. I, yeah, I'm gonna do silver with this kit. So these are the full boxes. We have the little mice. We have the storybook and her crown. We have Cinderella here, which is, she's beautiful. Her glass slipper. We have the Prince Charming, but you know, that can be whoever you want it to be. We have the classic Cinderella running down, which is, you know, that's her shoe over there that she forgot. Um, and then we have the carriage with the castle on the back. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we have some makeup. We have... The wand. These colors I feel like are so pretty too and I feel like they match the art so well. I'm really happy with this color scheme. And like the patterns in this are really pretty too. We definitely pull in some like galaxy kind of stuff here to match the stars. We have our deco and scripts and functional. Sorry I feel like I'm not going over the kit in quite detail and I'm more like letting you guys look at it. Um, because I have shown Glam Planner kits on here before. I know that this one and the Valentine's Day one are her newest format, but I'm not sure about that Christmas one. We have this page. I love her new format because you get a ton of labels and stuff and you have different colors for the little things. I feel like it works really well. And then this is our last page. I really like this. This is really pretty. All right, so that is the Cinderella kit. She does not have the names on these, so I don't know the exact names of them, and I apologize, but um, hopefully you're able to find them pretty easily on her website if they are still available. Next, we have this Valentine's Day kit, which she sneaked this, and I was like, oh, oh my God, it's so beautiful. So... Obviously, this is not going to be me this Valentine's Day because my boyfriend is across the world, but I'm still going to use it in my planner. Like, 
it's, it's so cute. So we have the hands here with their cute little nails. The bed, this is beautiful. That is a dream bed right there. I love Valentine's Day, you guys. And Valentine's Day colors make me so happy, even though, if you guys know me, I'm not the hugest pink fan. I love blue, but I just feel like it's so pretty. And oh, these girls, hello. These are pretty. These are so pretty. I really, I think my favorite's this box and this one. So pretty. They, these are really, really pretty. Um, and then we have these full boxes here, which, again, just stunning. We have the bath with the rose. We have the couch with the balloons. This, like, bath kind of, they got the loofah, the kisses, the bath bomb, that one, the like twilight one from Lush is one of my favorites. Will you be my valentine? This like bunt cake, which I used to work at a nothing bunt cakes, so I saw that and was like, wow, I relate. Some macaroons, some cookies and strawberries, the cute silk pajamas with the slippers. I just think this is beautiful. And then we have this like fluffy pattern for the check boxes. <laughs> this is so pretty. We have the breakfast in bed and then the balloons these colors are just so pre so beautiful i feel like gold would look really good actually no rose gold i am um what is the word when you're like are putting it into play it's like at the tip of my tongue i'm sure one of you guys will tell me down below and i'm sure i'm gonna remember it later but like at the tip of my tongue what is it called like like setting it like putting it into motion like saying like this is gonna happen and then like you know throwing it into the air so it happens I can't remember what it's called and someone was talking about it um on Instagram was it planning with Christy Oh, it's gonna bother me. These patterns are so cute. This heart one, I'm so glad that she chose that for that. So pretty. I will not be using this for Valentine's Day week because I'm using the Star Wars art, even though I haven't seen Star Wars. Tom loves it, and we're gonna watch it whenever he gets home, so yes. Manifesting. Manifesting, that's the word. See, I knew it was gonna happen. I'm, like, I'm glad it happened while we were still filming, though, especially because we only had one more kit left, but... I am manifesting that I will use rose gold with that kit because I feel like that's going to look really pretty. And I hardly ever get to use rose gold. So next we have this, I think this is called like gingerbread or something. It's really, really pretty. Um, like I said, unless Tom picks it for this year, I'm probably going to use this next year. We have this gorgeous double box, the big old house. These colors, which I'll probably end up using those colors, honestly. We have these fashion girls. They kind of look like Miley Cyrus. Anybody else see that with this girl, Miley Cyrus right there? <laughs> and then we have the beautiful full boxes. We have the presents, wrapping the presents. We got two Christmas trees here, hello. The cookies, gingerbread house, cup full of cheer. And then we have the pets, super cute. And then we have the full boxes. Uh, full box checklist sorry and then we have our functional page here with the boxes and this like cute little board I'm I'm losing it y'all <laughs> this is the last kit and I feel like my body knows that and it's like we're giving out on you right now um and then we have another functional page I'm really nervous to see oh this is the new format I know she had this last year so she must have reformatted this so that makes me really happy because that means it's a little bit more usable for me um this, if you guys um, picked up from Planet Hannah, the pattern that the red foil came in, but in like a different foil color, like silver or gold, I feel like that would be really cute with this. So that is that. That is everything for this portion of the haul. Don't worry, we still have lots more to come. This is going to be a long one. Um, I wasn't going to like put these all together, but I, I don't know how to like end a video any other way. So we're just going to slightly do that. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is what, this is what we do. 
you know okay so you do that and then you just like put it there wow 30 almost minutes for this section this is gonna be a long haul so i hope you guys are ready for it <laughs> see y'all later okay guys so this is actually gonna be the final portion for this video because i don't want this to get too long because you know storage on my computer isn't that high and I want to start like uploading these so there will definitely be at least one other part to my Black Friday haul but I want to just kind of you know put this up and yeah so <laughs> I don't know when this is gonna go up I don't know when it's gonna you know fit into my schedule but um, yeah I just have two shops here we have a glam planner this is from her glitch sale and then I have a my first order from Rabbit and Rain, which I actually found on Instagram. It was showing me like an Etsy ad. And then I found out that she had a Shopify too, so I just went ahead to order from her Shopify. So yeah, I'm super duper excited about this. Um yeah. Sorry, I was looking to see if her name was on here so I could do that but um yeah I'm really really excited so let's go ahead and get started with rabbit and rain um so the earrings that I saw first I will show you guys so I am quite excited I saw them and I messaged Tom and was like do I need these and he was like order them now so <laughs> it did come with this little like eraser which is cute um let me just get into these these are absolutely beautiful oh my gosh or is this like fuzzy from the packaging on here that just comes off? They do smell a little weird. I can't put my finger on what the smell is. But y'all, these are stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to show you like in comparison to... Um, what, what do people have? I mean like this is like a Polaroid. Eh. We'll do a picture of us not kissing because that, you know... <laughs> this is like basically the size of a Polaroid picture, if not a little bigger. Um, I don't have a huge iPhone, but it, that, that's a little comparison. I mean, it, they, these are some honkers, but they're really thin, so I feel like they're not going to be too heavy on my ears, but I'm just so excited about these. They were a little expensive, but like, it makes sense because these are handmade, um, the, oh, it doesn't have the pricing on it. I think these are around 20 or $25. Um, but I'm definitely going to be a returning customer. There's so many cute things on their site and they have like decor. They have a ton of earring options with like choker necklaces, lots of different stuff. Um, I'm so excited about these. I will definitely be posting a picture wearing these. I feel like they're not too Christmassy too. I mean, obviously they're a tree, but I, I will definitely wear these like other times than Christmas. So those were the first earrings I got. I'm not even going to put them in, back in that box because I feel like that fuzzy stuff is like going to be a pain in the butt to get off. And then um, I was trying to reach, oh, there's another little one in here that's cute. Um, I was trying to reach a certain amount, maybe for free shipping or something, and... I was between a lot of different ones, but I ended up going with these, and I'm so excited for them. So let me just show you guys. Aren't these beautiful? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these too. Um, I'll show you in comparison. They're they're pretty large earrings. They do offer smaller ones on their site, but I, I like these like statement ones. And I think these are so cute. And I know that Tom is gonna like love these so much. I'm so excited to like send him selfies wearing these, do a little modeling, you know, even though like they're on my ears, you know. So that is what I have from Rabbit and Rain. It's definitely gonna be purchasing from them again because love. And then let's go into the Glam Planner order. This was her glitch sale. Sorry if you can hear my brother. He's talking like really loud. So you might be able to hear him in the moments of me not speaking. So glitch sales are basically where the kits are not like absolutely perfect. Hold up. I'm going to ask him if he can be quiet. Okay, we're back. So uh, I think I was explaining what a glitch kit is. So basically like Glam Planner, Elle and her team, they do these. I don't want to say quite often, but it's not like once a year. She does them multiple times a year uh, where she will list specific kits and a certain amount of each one and they are called glitch kits because they are slightly imperfect but I mean 
I never find anything that's like detrimentally wrong with them. Like they are very usable. And quite a few of my like kits from her shop are glitch kits because they're a really good deal. So if you want a more affordable way to get kits, I would definitely recommend shopping during the glitch sales. So I think I actually hauled this. There he goes again. I think I actually hauled this kit in this video. I'm using this the week that I'm currently living in, but I picked up the mini version for my mom because this was called like gingerbread or something. And my mom loves gingerbread cookies and gingerbread men. Well, she doesn't like eating gingerbread cookies, but I just wanted to pick this up for her. So I went ahead and got her the mini kit. So I will show you guys what is in this because I don't think, I know I've hauled a mini kit from Glam Planner, but it was like a while ago. So my mom uses an hourly planner. Um, and I never like really showed her like where to put the stickers out. She just kind of does what she wants with them, which I think is how you should do planning. So I'll be giving that to my mom. I know she's super excited about that. I was like, have you planned your Christmas week yet? And I asked her this like right when I ordered that and she was like, no. And I was like, cool, cause I got you something. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Ooh, this one didn't come with glitter and stuff. Yeah, so sometimes they come with like the extras and sometimes they don't apparently. I've gotten kits, like most of the glitch kits that I've gotten that are full kits come with the extras, but excuse me. This one, these two didn't seem to. So this is Christmas Village possibly. I think that might be what it's called. Um, I think it was either this kit or another kit it reminded me of like Germany and Christmas in Germany. And I used to live in Germany I lived there for a total of five years, but one of the years was when I was first born and then I moved back. Um, but I definitely want to go and visit Germany again at some point, preferably in the winter time because it's my favorite time. So I got this kit for that. It's also just really pretty. So we have the checklist boxes. This is her full kit. Um, I'm not sure if this is an updated format or not. We shall see. I think this is really cute. And I like that we have some brighter colors. It's really pretty. Mm. Kind of reminds me of, I have an elf kit from Cricut Paper Co. And the colors kind of remind me of that. So this is a newer format. And with the glitch kits, they are not available all the time. They're only available during the glitch sales. So, and also like things will sell out. So you want to make sure that, you know, if you're going for something definitely follow her or join her Facebook group um, because she puts up numbers I believe of how many of each kit she's gonna have and then this one maybe it's called Santa's workshop I'm not sure but I loved this art I actually used this art from Chris Press a couple years ago in my personal planner uh, maybe that was like three years ago I have those inserts they're not in the planner anymore, but I have them somewhere. I need to find them because there's some old spreads in there, y'all. But I just, I love this art so much. I think it's so cute. This is like my dream color scheme for a nice peppermint spread. I am definitely going to be using my peppermint stuff with this. And hopefully by then I will convince Tom that hollow is good too. And this is definitely an older format. I would say this is probably like three formats ago, three or four. Um, but that is a-okay. And like I said, these didn't come with any extras or glitter headers or anything. So I will be pulling those in from my collection. So I know this was a pretty small portion of the haul, but I really just wanted to wear these earrings and give this kit to my mom. So yeah. And then I also just want to get this video kind of, you know, edited and uploaded. So Thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure you stick around on my channel because there will definitely be a part two. I have a lot more shops and orders coming soon. Some new shops. I'm very, very excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see y'all later. Bye. Okay, y'all. I am back with another haul portion. Don't know where I'm throwing this, um, but this is like probably my most random section of a haul that I've ever filmed because there's only like two planner related things, but like I was just like, I mean, I might as well show you guys. These are at my desk, so yeah, let's go ahead and do the like non-planner stuff first, cause I don't know, I'm feeling spicy. So um, yes, 
These right here are from my mom. Um, my mom got these for me for Christmas, but she said she wanted to give them to me early. Um, I was having a bad day and she said, what did she say? She said, these reminded me of you and Tom. This is like a mitten and a hat go like well together. I don't know, something like really cute like that. And I was like, wow. Like, I didn't just get my cheesiness from my dad. I got it from my mom, too. So, this is what they look like. These are from Target. Super duper cute. Ow. Um, and then she also wanted to give them to me so I could wear them, um, you know, before they go out of season. But honestly, like, I would wear these up until spring. So, cute. And then, speaking of gifts, I got this in for Tom because he got AirPods. And I was like, hey, babe, do you have a, uh, a case for your case? And he was like, what? And I was like, a case for your case. Um, he did not. So um, I got this one for him. I just went on Amazon Prime because I, I mean, I would have loved to, like, pick out a super duper cool one um, from, you know, like Etsy or something. But... I needed something that was going to get here like super quick because I'm mailing out his box right after Christmas and there's like a deadline. So I picked this one out. It is Jack Skellington kind of. It's just kind of like a skull. I mean, it kind of looks like Jack Skellington, um, but it's super cute. It's like this flimsy kind of material. Um, and I think, I think he's going to like, I mean, I already told him like the idea of it and he's like, oh, that's cute. And I just didn't want to get anything like too wild for him either because um you know if he wants to like carry this around I don't I don't know it's not like huge so he can still fit it in his uniform and stuff and or his pocket you know whatever I got that for him and then these are super cute I got these from Target um because I wanted to do my nails and obviously I haven't done them yet but um these are not the ones that I normally use I don't know what the ones I normally use are. My mom has gotten them, um, but she said she gets them online. But I saw these and I was like, these are super cute. Um, so yeah, I've been doing nail stickers for a little bit now. Um, I don't know when I started doing them, but whenever my nails started looking good in my videos, that's when I started doing them since, you know, before the pandemic because I stopped going and getting my nails done because, you know, pandemic, but also because I lost my job and then, you know, it's expensive, so Noelle is messing up the bed. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent, but I'm just gonna show you guys what these look like. You guys will eventually see, or maybe you already saw what these look like on my hands. We shall see, um, but I like that there's like the silver and the hollow and stuff with it. I'm, I'm just digging it. So those are my like non-planner related things. Let's get into some planner stuff. So this came in today and I literally like ripped it open. I am sorry, I also like just ate, so kind of a little burpy, but <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Like, oh, here comes the coughing. You good, babe? What are you doing? Um, so this is my first ever order. <laughs> Girl. That is Noel coughing. This is my first ever order from Odd Loop, and let me tell you a little fun story about this. They were doing a power hour sale, and it was at like 11 p.m. or 12 p.m. or 1 a.m. or something like that, my time, and I set an alarm for it, and then I turned the alarm off, and then woke up 30 minutes like late from when the power hour started, so I didn't get the biggest percentage off of this, but I got the second most. Um, but I made this order with one eye open. I remember that. Um, but I'm so, so excited. I know that Lindsay Morgan Plans has used a lot of these like odd loop kits and my friend Jess of Miss Jess Plans, she owns like a lot of the like Disney kind of kits from odd loop. So I am just like so excited for this. I love up and I've wanted an up kit for so long. So the first things I have here are some vinyls. And again, I saw these hauled by Lindsay Morgan Plans, um, but I, so they have two options. They have a My Adventure book and um, they also have an Our Adventure book. I got Our instead of My. I mean, I could have gotten both, but obviously like I'm like obsessed with my relationship and I love Tom. So 
Um, and I was telling him about this, and he was like, oh, like, I can't wait to go on more adventures with you. And I was like, babe, oh, I'm making my heart just so full. So, yeah, I got these, um, and I don't know what I'm putting them on yet. They'll probably be some sort of deco, or maybe I'll put them in our scrapbook because we're going to make a scrapbook whenever he gets home because we're going to have a lot of time whenever he's quarantining. So, that is super cute. I put those in my vinyl drawer so I don't mm, lose them because they are kind of small. And then let's get into the two kits I got. So, this first kit. I mean, y'all, do you see this? These colors, this art is just everything. And I do believe that they draw this themselves. So, these are the full boxes. And I think this art is just absolutely beautiful. And... I just, I love it. I love this double box. This makes me really happy. I'm just staring at this. This is beautiful. I can't wait to show Tom this. Um, I'm probably going to use this. Something related to Tom. I'm not sure what. Um, so this is our second page here. I did get this on the glossy paper. I'm not sure if they had other options. Um, so these are our ombre, ombre, <laughs> ombre circle boxes. And then we have a weekly box here. Depending on what the label situation looks like. I will definitely be cutting these up. Um, up, you get it? <laughs> or, um, you know, that's like another option is like cutting up checklists. I don't know, I'm just like in the mood to stare at stickers. So that's also why I wanted to haul this stuff because of the next thing I'm gonna show you, I get to stare at stickers. So um, this is the like functional page. So we have a bunch of icons which are cut out in squares. We have these check flags, which I feel like Odd Loop is known for doing these check flags to match the kits, which I think is really cool. Some flags, teardrops, little squares, some labels here. Uh, and then we have some like canceled stickers. This next page here, I believe this is a newer format because whenever I've seen like older all loop kits, like they were a lot smaller, so. And they didn't have bottom washing, but now they do. So we have some more flags. These ones are like a little bit longer. And then you have nine half boxes and six like quarter box or six like third boxes and then three quarter boxes I will say um I feel like there's a lot of half boxes but we do get a crap ton of labels so never mind I was gonna say that sometimes I feel like there's too many half boxes in certain kits but not enough smaller labels and I feel like smaller labels go a lot further that's just my opinion but Look at this page, this is beautiful. This reminds me of like the page that uh, Kenzie of Kenzie's Creations did with her kit where she has just like the full page of like little things. So these I think are actually meant to be headers. So you have eight to do headers and then you have uh, 16 for each color of these blank headers, but oh yeah, they don't do glitter headers. So I think that's what those are supposed to be for is like to do your, your headers and you know color block or mix them up or whatever, but I will most likely be pulling in like glitter headers. Although, I don't know, because if I found some really cool like overlays, I feel like these would be cool headers. But you also can use those as like little things. And then we have a bunch of labels here. These ones have a little line and these ones don't. We've got two, four, six, seven, right? 21 of those. Sweet Game Banner so cute too. So we have some, what are these? Hexagons, some circles, some longer flags, some of these square boxes, six work labels, which I really appreciate. A weekend sticker, your date covers with the balloon. I need some up overlays. Does anybody know if anybody has like just up overlays? I don't want like all the Disney ones. I just need up ones. And then some habit trackers, some more labels, and then build dues, which I think these build dues are cute. And then our bottom washi. Oh, and they do have a couple of glitter headers here. So maybe what I'll do, maybe, maybe I will use those uh, other, like the blank headers as headers and then do the glitter th headers in the middle. But this is the bottom washi here. It's super cute. I feel like you could maybe get away with cutting this. I'm not sure. I really want some up overlays now. Um, and then we have the different pattern washi here and then some checklists. So that is the up kit. I'm so excited for this kit. Ah, and then this other one too though. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of my best friend Delilah, but also of Tom and I, but mainly Delilah too, because Delilah and her boyfriend are also 
like this is Delilah and that's David um okay so uh this is the Nightmare Before Christmas kit and this is just absolutely beautiful I love the colors for this I love how dark this is this would be a really cool um obviously Christmas obviously Halloween but like a cute alternative Valentine's Day kit I have no idea what I'm doing for Valentine's Day this year kit wise um because I also don't know when my other planner is gonna get here, so I don't know what to plan for <laughs> with my Valentine's Day kits, but I'm just saying, it's an option. So you have these beautiful full boxes, and then your checklist page. This is so cute. I feel like this is a kit that I would want to save my leftovers for and do like a second spread with because of those flags. I think they're so cute. Your label page, and then your headers and labels. Those began banners are so cute. And then your bottle washi. I've definitely seen Nightmare Before Christmas overlays, so now I just need to find those again. So that is what I have from Odd Loop. I'm super excited about that. More exciting though. So Samantha of Samantha Plans and Reads did this organization and I was like tempted and then Lindsay of Lindsay Morgan plans did it and I was like oh dear so I I was talking to Lindsay about it and um, I decided to go for it so I ordered this is um, like reusable double-sided sticker paper and I'm going to hole punch this and put it in a binder that I actually already have this like binder here and I was actually telling Tom that I know for sure I'm gonna need to order a second one of these and there's a possibility that I would need to order a third but I think I'm just gonna continue with just this until I get about halfway through them because I'm just gonna do this um, whenever I get off of work as like a de-stressing thing I started doing it already um, I was taking like my Cricut Paper Co um, sticker sheets and like peeling off the extras and I just started doing this. I actually, fun fact, when I first started planning like five, five and a half years ago, I would actually like do this with all of my stickers. I used to put them in like the photo albums or I'd put them in a binder like this and I would remove all the stickers from the sheets and put them on each one. And I thought it was genius, but also like, like with these ones, they're in sheet protectors because the paper, this isn't made to be like reusable sticker paper, so it doesn't have the biggest grip. And that kind of annoyed me a while ago, but I did start doing it with my Christmas stickers because I really want to just, I just wanted to start doing this. Um, but essentially, you just take off your sheet, your stickers off the sheets and then organize them together. So this is like a little sneak of what I've done so far. So a little bit of Valentine's Day, I started with my Halloween. Um, so like if you don't want to order like the paper off of Amazon and you want to like put them in sleeves, you can definitely use like sticker paper from your kits and stuff whenever you're done with like the full box page or the washi page, pages that you use up like all the stickers. You just like peel off the like the border, like this part right here, you would just peel it off. And then you have that full sheet and then I would just recommend putting it in a sleeve because the the stickers aren't going to stick to it that well um and then you can kind of try that out and see if you like that um so yeah that's what i used to do and then i stopped doing it and started organizing my stickers in the binder and now my binder is just way too big and it takes forever to pull my stickers and so i just i really wanted to do this Lindsay convinced me and um so i'm so excited to do this i am going to hole punch these as soon as I'm done filming this video, I still have my whole punch from when I was in college that I got. So, um, yeah, I know some people, are, I think Samantha has this in her, like, cloud, and she, like, cut the pages down. So, you can do whatever you want, obviously, with this, um, but I think these pages fit pretty perfectly in that, like, classic three-ring binder, and that's what I have my whole punch for, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and I also don't have, like, an extra cloud laying around. But also, Michaels does offer an A5 planner that 
might still be on sale for like nine something. So yeah, just all the different options for you guys. That is it for this like random haul bit. I know it's like literally the most random thing ever, but like, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Okay, so I'm back with, I promise this is going to be the final portion for this haul. Um, I actually said that before um, with a different clip. And I was like, I'll just throw these in the middle. But um, I kind of want to keep it real time. It's going to be the easiest for me editing and finding the clips on my phone. So, um, yeah. We have another, like, kind of random bit. But it's not, like terribly random so I have my Black Friday order in from Chasing Chels and then I did go to a couple different shops I went to Attic Salt a pop-up shop that has local artists stuff in it at the Arboretum it's called Holiday Pop-Up Art or something like that and then I also went to it does not say on any of these what it was called um it was a store at the domain that um had a bunch of like random stuff but it doesn't have I don't think I got anything that has like the name of that store on it um, and I did not get a receipt because I didn't need one so uh anyways um we got some stuff here so I've got stickers pins vinyls, earrings, hats. We've got a lot of stuff here. So um, I am going to start off with the Chasing Chelsea order and then we're gonna go into all the other stuff um, just cause that's how I feel like doing it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited for all of this stuff and I like ripped this open and showed my mom and I showed Tom too so. Uh, I guess I should start with this one though. Ooh, did I just show my address? I hope I didn't. Man, I'm gonna have to watch all these clips to make sure that I did not show my address because I'm wild, so. Oh, I love Chels. Okay, so the first thing that I have here, I'm actually not going to like go through because it is for a friend and I have actually hauled this on my channel before because I do own this kit. This is the Visco Girl kit. I got this for my friend Sage at Study with Sage. So um, I'm going to put this aside to send to her and let's look at all oh, so much stuff here okay so I have like some stuff that I ordered here but also like some freebies I think that's all that I ordered yeah I think just these ones yeah okay so this is I'm gonna put these to the side I'm gonna go through the freebies that I have here um which let's she was doing a 50% off her shop um and then her foil bundles were nine dollars instead of ten because Y'all, she makes her foil in shop, in house, and she has phenomenal pricing for it. Like $10 for the full bougie bundle for her doing it in house is insane. And the quality is really, really, really good. So, and she's just an amazing person. Um, sorry, I'm like looking at my invoice. Um, so these are all freebies. I'm hype. Okay, so we have some from her, we have some from other people. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and can we see this? Here we go. So I think this matches a kit that she had in her shop for Valentine's Day. I did not pick that kit up though because I believe I have that artwork from another shop. And unless I'm like absolutely in love and obsessed, I try not to get many kits with the same artwork oh here comes the whole coffee. so um this first ruby here is the girl you're loud what are you doing over there my lady huh so this is the 45 dollars plus ruby 
And these are honestly like, I'm gonna put these in my reusable sticker book because these colors will like be so easy to match, especially for Valentine's Day spreads. And honestly, like once I start getting my Valentine's Day kits in, I'll, I'll probably just match this up to that same kind of artwork or something similar. So we have that, this is their 35 plus freebie. It's two full boxes. We have this like dress and then this planner one, which is super cute. These glitter headers for the 25 plus freebie. You can definitely pull these in to, I mean, black and pink go with like pretty much anything. And then we have this deco sheet here. This is so cute. Um, and we've got like some laptops. These could definitely be used as kind of like functional deco. I'm sorry, ma'am. Can I help you? What do you smell? Do you need something? Baby, can I finish? <laughs> I don't think I can finish. Babes. Okay, one second. Come here, honey. Oh. Hi. Okay, we're back. Noelle left the room. Um, so then we have these, which I believe these were actually the same freebies that are in the open before you start for her advent calendar. Sorry, I am so tired. <laughs> Um, so we have an extra of these, which is really cool, which would be very useful um, because depending on when my planner comes here, I ordered a B6 spiral. I don't even think that it has shipped yet. Um, so I'm not sure when that's going to get here, but I was like hoping that I'd be able to do like some rewind spreads for Christmas, but I have no idea. Um, but if not, I can use those like next year. And then we have these two, I think these are stickers here. The I like stickers, washi planners, and like two people. And then the planner girl. I also realized that like, I did not do my nails and I wanted to do them before I did any more videos. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> this boba. <sighs> okay. Um, I am gonna check out the shop. Look at this, you guys. This is beautiful. This is from Lilac Luna Plans Co. Plan and Jam. Oh my gosh. The boba time though. Super cute. So I'm going to I'm going to check out that shop cuz it's really really cute and the boba time script is so me. Then we have Kenzie of course with this hollow sampler with her scripts and then one of my other faves, we have Nicole Alexia Designs. I do have a code for Kenzie. I have a cool code sorry, for Nicole Alexia Designs and I have one for Chasing Chels. Um, Chasing Chels' code, in case I forget to tell you, does not apply on the foil bundles because like I said, those are already heavily discounted and all of my coupon codes are in my link tree, which is linked down below. Um, but this is, this is on like a glossy paper. Um, oh my gosh, one second, Noelle is scratching. Girl, you just wanted to get out. I don't understand you, babe. Ooh. I think sometimes she just likes being complicated. Um, so yeah, this is on like a glossy paper, but I really like this. This is really pretty. And then the, sorry, I'm like fighting off yawns. This is so cute. The Sticker Shop Co. Um, so we have some scripts here. We have this mask, which is super cute. Another shop to check out. Um, my planning addictions. I love that haircut sticker. That's super cute. And the McDonald's bag. Sticker Oki. And we've got a box. This coffee is really cute. The local post sticker. The U. Oh, I love you. And I love you too. Um, these Corgi stickers from Beto and Co. And then Peppermint Planner. This is so cute. So those were all freebies. Wild. <laughs> I love, that's so cool. I like whenever I, like, I'm in the first whatever amount of orders. Um, and I get the, like, sampler packs because then you get to, like, see different shops and stuff. Um, and I think that's really cool. So... We have these quote boxes here, and uh, like I said, Chelsea um, does all of her foil in-house, so she offers a lot of different foil colors, and you can get that on different things. 
things. So that is super exciting. I did restrain a little bit. Um, for Black Friday, I wanted to try and shop more from different shops. I know that Lindsay of Lindsay Morgan Plans was, did you see this? I think she said this in like a plan with me or something, um, something similar to that. Uh, so I held back, but these quotes are so cute and I, I love them. So this one is called a bushel and the quote says, I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. And that is so cute. And then I love us. And this is in silver. I also have that in her light gold I'm looking at my invoice yes light gold and then this one says I love you to the moon and back and I love love <laughs> these are so cute I love these um and these were two dollars but they were on sale for a dollar because er maybe she had more than 50% off because I feel like I remember these being less than a dollar but either way like super duper good deal so i have light gold i have a red because i'm i think i might be using red for valentine's day week if not i'm definitely gonna like i always use love quotes and we also have silver i'm like out of breath because i'm so in love with all this stuff okay um let's let's stay with foil and save my kit for last so i i feel so spoiled honestly, um, because she did send me the advent calendar and I've been opening that up daily and I love it so much and I have so many good like fun foil colors now and also like there's like sneaks in there of things that are coming to the shop next year and um, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, I am going to be doing a full unboxing of that on my YouTube channel as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you, or like if you are and you've been skipping them, um, or you just want to see them all together, you will get that. Um, whenever the advent's over, I'm going to film all of that. But anyways, um, I picked up two foil bundles here and I'm super excited. So Let's go ahead and look at this one first. This one is a new one to me. So this one is called Watermelon. And I did get the full bougie bundle, which is four pages. So oh, my knee is like, ow. So make sure you can see it. This is the Watermelon. So this is your first page with the four full boxes, the icons, your scripts here, which these do fit over her date covers. We have date numbers. Your second page has header overlays and the confetti as well as bottom washi. These two full boxes and some extra header overlays. And then all of the bougie. And then more and some full box overlays. So you have enough to do a full spread. And I love it so much. And then this one is a repurchase. Well, she had sent me um, a couple of these previously, but I wanted to get this one again because I love red foil and y'all she has a sparkly red foil coming to her shop next year and it's beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. So we had that first page again. Oh my gosh. And the way that I like store these is I just put all of my like red together and all of that. So um, I do save the leftovers because you get so much with this. You get enough for a full week and then some. So that is amazing. Oh my gosh, literally, this stuff is taking my breath away. So this is my Valentine's Day kit. When I saw that um, Elaine at Coffee Doodles came out with this art, I sent it to Tom and was like, babe, look. He's like, that's, that's super cool. So this is gonna be my Valentine's Day kit. And um, I have not seen Star Wars. We were supposed to watch it before Tom deployed and then he deployed early, so. We're gonna watch it whenever he comes back. So I'm slightly a poser for, <laughs> for using this now, but it's just so cute and I don't wanna, I don't wanna wait. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the add-ons that I got first. So the first add-on that I got, or maybe these came with it. I think the girls came with the kit actually. This is the only add-on page I think that I got. Let me look. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so 
I have this page here, which is the sampler page. And I wanted to get this so I could have a couple more full box options as well as just a couple more boxes um, just in case I need them. So uh, we have two full boxes. We have some fancy labels, a movie marquee, some half boxes, some quarter boxes, appointment labels, a couple different sizes here. And then we also have these fashion girls, which are so cute. And then this is the kit. So these full boxes are so cute. And I was like hauling my stuff for Tom on FaceTime. And I was like, babe, look at this. And I was like showing it to him. And he's like, you know, I, I doubt you. She's like, and he said this in like the sweetest way possible. Um, he was saying, you know, like, I don't think you even know like what any of that stuff is. Like, <laughs> I was like, hold up, I got you. Stormtrooper, lightsabers, baby Yoda, uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> he was like, I'm impressed. And I was like, I mean, you know, so... <laughs> This is so cute and this is gonna be perfect for a full box overlay so we have these gorgeous full boxes and then we have all these boxes we have some pattern headers down here which I love those so much I oh and this is also in her new format so I know that I've shown her a new format I think it was maybe in my last haul that I posted um I had a Christmas kit from her and that was in her new format and I really really enjoy it. I feel like there's a lot of boxes We have just a lot of stuff going on in here. So We have pattern headers, which you can also use as washi And then her bottom washi page I really like so we have this full box here that you that isn't the same as the bottom washi But it is like a more plain one so you can use it for a full box overlay like a quote or something we have her Date covers which you can use these right over top of them which is really really cool um, and then also your bottom washi which she does have the lines here if you want to cut them for the b6 or the percussion and then we also do get a girl <laughs> a full uh, glitter sampler included in the kit so we have some blank headers or you can use them as little things some fancy labels these um, squared off half boxes and then your full set of glitter headers and I want to say too that another thing that I really really love about her format of these is that you don't have the glitter straight pressed up against the top here let me see if you guys can see there's like a little bit of just the blank color there so I would feel comfortable putting this underneath the glitter header I don't know about y'all but like when the glitter box like or the glitter for the box goes straight up against it. I don't want to put that right up against the glitter header. I just, I don't know. I do it sometimes, but I try not to. Um, so I really appreciate that. I know that's like a little thing, but. Then we have this uh, box sampler page. Sorry, I keep getting up to make sure that I'm in frame. Um, so we have some more of the squared boxes. This doily is super cute. The weekend script. Um, tons of appointment labels. So you have a lot of options here. And then this page is really like satisfying. I don't know why. Um, so we have a bunch of like checklists here. Um, and then your weekend, or not weekend, your weekly stuff. Sorry, Noelle is like whining again for me to get her down. Um, I don't understand her. What do you want, babe? <laughs> but um, yeah, this, is, this could be a spending. You could do this for calories, like really anything that you wanna keep a total of. But then you also have a regular one and then a checklist and your deco, which is super cute. So that is everything from Chasing Chels. You guys need to check out her shop. She's absolutely amazing and she'll be opening back up in the new year. And I'm just so in love. She's a wonderful human being too. So definitely make sure you check her out. I have to let Noelle down again. I don't understand her like at all. Okay, so next we're gonna get into all of my goodies here. So I'm gonna start from the bottom here. Okay, so these are from Attic and Salt or Attic Salt, and they were doing buy one get one half off, but also the store was 25% off. 
So I got the first one for 25% off as well as like the second one for 50% off. So I saw these and I thought they were so cute. I have never really worn a beanie before. I mean, like back in sixth, gra sixth grade when I was going through what I thought was my only like scene goth face, <laughs> um, I had this like panda moment, but um, I, I don't know. I saw these and I was really, really in love with them. And the domain has really, really bad internet connection. And also Tom was busy, so I couldn't ask him. I didn't know if he was really a beanie person, so I kind of took a took a jump with these. But when I was showing him and telling him about them, he's like, yeah, like I can wear beanies like it, you know, if it gets cold enough. And I was like, when? So I still need to learn how to wear these properly, but they just have the skull on them. And I just think they're so cute. So I have two of those, so Tom and I can match. Um... I don't even know how to like show all of this oh my gosh is she at my door again <laughs> guys noel what do you want what do you want i'm not putting you on the bed you're gonna have to wander um so this is really random <laughs> i did get this pop socket i'm gonna be getting um a new phone soon like i'm due for an upgrade i just need to uh learn about the new phones but i also need to get a new case and a new i took off my i don't even know her oh here i tried to have my card number oh my God. i'm a mess y'all but this was my this is my phone case right now um mark of once more love actually ordered this for me it has like a wallet here um and I just, it's fallen apart. I need to get a new one. So I'm going to wait though until I get my new phone, but I got this pop socket. I thought it was really cute. has like the witch hands. Um, and then from the pop-up shop, I guess I'll show those. And I will try and I am going to um, make sure that I leave these artists down below in case like some of these have websites and stuff. Yeah, I think all of them have websites. So you guys would be able to purchase from them even though you're not in Austin, which is really cool. I think it's really great supporting other artists. So these are from Stipple Pop and they had some really cute sushi earrings, but I don't, I mean, I've only had sushi once, but it's one of Tom's favorites. So I'm going to try it again whenever he comes home. But I saw these and I was like, these are so cute. And my justification for these, when I was explaining, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. When I was explaining this to him, I was like, oh my gosh, so like, imagine this. We go to IHOP. <laughs> I showed him these and he was like, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute though. I, I just, I love earrings so much. Um, and then from Robu Roku, they had a ton of pins and stuff there. Um, so I picked out these two ones for Tom and I's pin board. Um, so we have this, like, it's like a Davy, Davy, <laughs> David Bowie cat astronaut. I just, I just thought it was really cool. And this one has the silver hardware. And then this one says screaming inside my heart <laughs> and it's a little bear. Um, and it has gold. So I have those. And then this is a magnet. I mean, I couldn't not get this. This is from Kathy Fanastic, um, and it is a taco magnet. Less commitment than a sticker. I think that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I thought this, I really like the idea of that. I'm wondering, um, do you guys, like in your cities, have, I mean, it kind of reminds me of like bazaars that I used to go to when I lived in like England and Germany. Um, but having basically like different little like small businesses that would come and you can buy straight from them and it's like a little shop. I just think it's really cute. So <laughs> these are like some of my favorite things I've ever bought. And so, uh, Austin has a lot of these like mural walls and this is a very famous one. Um, and it says you're my butter half and... This is so cute. So, I mean, this is like, okay. This is the sticker. 
which obviously like is so cute but you guys look at this pin look at this pin and they're two separates so so Tom can have one half and I can have the other half uh, does it say where these are from this is from Austin Blanks, um, and I'm assuming that other one is too, but this is just, it's just so cute. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> and then we have some horoscope stickers. Um, I got Gemini because I'm a Gemini. Tom's also a Gemini because his birthday is the day after mine, which is kind of crazy. Um, these are just like holographic foiled stickers, and... I just think it's really really cute so this is the Gemini one and then the little vinyl um, and then I also got this one here which has the phases of the moon with the hollow super cute um, this is from wishcraft goods and then these were from have a nice day um, so super duper cute. I don't know where I'm going to put these yet. Probably my planner. Um, oh my gosh, this other one here. This is so funny. I saw this by the checkout and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so it says, looks like you're effed. Um, <laughs> it's like a horoscope. I just thought it was hilarious. So I grabbed that. And then I got these two little buttons for Tom. He has this really, really cute jacket um that he loves wearing and he has like little buttons on it and he said that he wants to like collect a bunch and put them on there um and he just he loves that jacket so much so I saw these and this one matches the beanie and then this one is just Tom Tom loves coffee um a lot and he drinks it plain which it, like bogs my mind but makes it super easy for me to make him coffee in the morning because I don't have to worry about putting too much or too less creamer because he doesn't like any. So, um, yeah, I have both of these pens. And that's that's it, guys. I know this is, like, super duper random. Um, I have my stickers, like, put to the side. I don't want to stab any of them, so we're just going to have this as, like, the end. But um, thank you guys for bearing with how random this has been. I mean, should be a nice little collective haul. Should be nice and, you know long so um thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video um I, like i said i'm gonna try and link all of these down below so you guys can shop from them if you'd like to because these things are really cute and i think it's really great to shop local and shop small so yeah that is everything um y punto.